being born and raised on a Nebraska farm. It does have several benefits and one farm family decided to adopt. Here's their story. The Niemeyers say they don't feel like they're giving their two adopted kids, AJ and Grace, any special opportunities by having them grow up on a farm. In fact, Darren and Buffy Niemeyer say they're the blessed ones because they weren't able to have kids their traditional way. Over there is our barn. 11-year-old Grace wasted no time in showing me around the farm. This is our place. We own this place. It's the farm she and her brother, 13-year-old AJ, have both grown up on and where AJ is practicing driving so he can apply for his learner's permit next summer. Mostly Saturdays because of school. AJ and Grace both say they love living on a farm, but things could have been a lot different. AJ was born in Scotts Bluff, okay. but Grace was born in Austin, Texas. AJ and Grace were both adopted just after birth by Buffy and Darren Niemeyer. I was unable to have any children, so the next best option was to adopt. The couple says they've always been open with their kids about their adoptions and have never treated them any differently. Their kids learning positive values and hard work by living on a farm. When Grace's birth mom was looking through her file, that's one of the reasons that we stood out, is that we do live on a farm. And she grew up in a city, but her dad had a little ranch outside of the city and she used to love going out to the farm or the ranch when she was a girl. Uh, our dog's name is Bray. Yeah, lab. And Our cat's name is Garfield, Sally, Mittens, and uh, Sam. AJ and Grace's mom and dad say they're blessed to have the opportunity to raise farm kids of their own. I know people always talk about how lucky the kids are, but we feel that we're the ones that's lucky. Buffy and Darren Niemeyer both say that they do have contact with AJ and Grace's biological parents several times throughout the year. Earlier this month, Governor Dave Heineman declared November as Adoption Awareness Month. Tanner Kaler, NTV News. That's all we have for you on the show here tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good one.